And now for something completely different. Hello fellow CNC nuts and welcome. I had a recent request from a viewer asking about how they can fix a problem with a file they're creating in VCarve Pro. Now the problem is they can't join together some of the vectors. It just won't work. And he's trying to figure out what the problem is. Now this is not an unusual issue. Quite a few people can have problems doing this. So we're going to take a look at it and see what's wrong with the file and see how we can correct it. So I've opened the file here up in Aspire which basically is a more upmarketed version than VCarve Pro. It's the next level up. It gives you the 3D modeling capabilities. But in all other respects, it's pretty much the same. And as far as doing this goes, it is the same. So we can see here, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab and select everything on the page here on the drawing and have a quick look at it. And I can immediately see a problem. If I try and join these vectors, I will come over here to the Join, Open Vectors. It won't allow me to select these ones here. It tells me there are currently two closed vectors, but it won't allow me to select these ones here. And the reason for that is these ones here are all grouped together. So the first thing is you can't group together, um, you can't join group together vectors. So let's just quickly ungroup them, come over here to the little ungroup and click on that and you can see now these here are ungrouped. So let's now, since they're uh, selected, let's try and join them. And it says currently I have uh, 32 open and one closed. Oh sorry, currently I have 56 open and one closed and when I'm finished I'll have uh, one closed and still 32 open. But I'm just going to join them together so that I've got as much of this joined together as possible. Obviously the closed one is the circle in the center. Let's select on one of these here and you can see these here have not closed. So let's zoom in on one of them. I'll just pick this corner here and zoom in. And there immediately is a problem. That's why they're not joining. They're not joining because these here aren't even close to one another. Let's take another look at the other side. And this one here has the same problem. Now an easy way of joining this one here is to simply just use the cutting tool and cut them like that and cut them there where they join together and as you can see that's not joined properly so that's not going to work. Cut that one there and it gets a bit messy as we go but they're just not going to join. First of all even if I did that this would be a horrible curve to start with uh, this one here, I wouldn't get away with cutting that either. So let's just undo all that. And uh, we'll get rid of those the scissor tool. And we'll try something else. Now one other obvious thing we can try is if we select this here and we use the join tool, we can simply increase the tolerance. So if I change it from 0 0.0039 to 0 0.1 of an inch, and you'll see now it will actually go from 4 open to 1 close. So let's join that, and let's have a closer look at it. As you can see, the vector's now closed, but when we zoom into here, it hasn't closed it very nicely. That's, that's not a very nice curve there, and... On the other side, it's more of a hump than a, uh, a nice gentle curve joining these two lines. So I don't really like that option. I'll just go Control Z and undo it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to just select these little curves here. And I'm just going to pull them away for the time being. I don't want them. But I'll use them as references for later on. Okay, since I don't have any information on how this drawing was actually drawn, I could take a guess and assume that the radius on here is referenced to the centre of the circle. So let's just take it out to here and draw an arc. And as you can see, no, it's not. It's not, it's not referenced from the centre of this circle. 
so I can't simply just extend these lines up here and cut it so I'll, I'll avoid I'll undo that so the next thing is what I want to do is I really want to join these two together now there's another tool here if I select these two lines here for instance and want to put a curve in here there's another cool tool here which is join closed vectors with a smooth curve let's give that a try and there it is and there's a smooth curve there but to be honest that looks pretty hideous and it's done the same here it just doesn't look right so I don't want to do that either I'll just go control Z and get rid of it here's how I'm gonna fix it and I come over here to this tool here that says extend uh, vectors to a common intersection so it just says click on the two that I want to join and there it is, it joins them like so. Click on those two, and there we are, it's just join them. I'll just close that. Let's see if we do a node. And as you can see, there's what it's done there. It's added these small vectors in here, and it's simply extended this line here. So I'll just jump back out of node. What I need to do now is I now need to add this curve in down here now the easiest way of doing that is work out what that curve is and I've already done that it's about 0 0.006 of an inch and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select this both parts of this here and I'm going to join it and there it is I've now got a join vector here oh no I haven't shift I've got two there join okay now I've got a join vector here and now I'm going to put those curves on and I'm going to come over here to the fillet create a fillet and I've entered in here the radius of that fillet 0.002 an inch I'm going to click in that corner there and it's going to put a really nice curve in here one that's one that's going to look good let's now grab our curve here and see how it matches up well, as you can see, my curve that I've put in there is a pretty good match for the one that I took out. And so there we have it. There's our, there's our curve there. I'll get rid of those. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight of those. Eight and three hundred and sixty is uh, forty degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete uh, these here. And grab them and what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to copy that around the circle so now that I've deleted the uh, other ones that I don't need I now need to put another set of them on the uh, drawing here so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select this here right click and go copy I can also go control C on the keyboard now I'm going to do is grab the whole thing here and because this is round I'm going to rotate it by 45 degrees into 45 degrees into here and go apply and now that it's deselected I can go right click and paste and hey presto I now have two of these here I can select these two here go right click and copy select the whole thing I can rotate this time I can rotate it by 90 degrees and I can go control V and that will give me another two so I'll select these four and I'll unselect that center one otherwise I'll end up with a second center right click go copy select everything rotate this time 180 degrees and go control V and hey presto I now have eight copies of that around my circle it looks the same as the original one except this time these vectors are joined and everything's good to go 
Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it and maybe learnt a little something along the way. If you've got a problem with a weed drawing that uh, is not behaving, why not drop us a line? If I can give you a helping hand, I will, and we can make a small mini-episode out of it. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers!